Bye, sweetie. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Traveler. <laughs> Did I scare you? <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Although it was kind of funny seeing your face. It almost made me laugh. Almost. <laughs> um... Traveler, I was wondering if it wouldn't be too much to ask. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight after the lantern, right? Really? I'm glad. In all honesty, it's been a little lonely in Liu, and I like to spend this lantern right, this day of celebration, this day of coming together with somebody who has made me feel a little less alone. Is that too much to ask? Would you rather spend it with your friends? I would understand. <laughs> I'm glad that you're willing to spend it with me. Well, I'll see you tonight. Oh, one more thing. If I may ask... Can you not bring Paimon? Well, there isn't actually a definitive reason. I just was hoping we could spend time alone. At least for tonight. Maybe forever. Hmm? No, I didn't say anything. Well, I will see you tonight, if this is still on the table. Okay. Tonight, then. <laughs> ah, Traveler. You're here. Mm. Yes, please have a seat. I was just finishing up the last touches of the food. Would you like anything to drink? Mm. Water. Sure. I can get you some. Here you go, traveler. <clears throat> How was the lantern, right? Did you enjoy it? Well, yes, I know it's not over, but did you enjoy most of your day? I'm glad. You know, Traveler, you seem like you have a lot of friends. That must be nice. I don't really know friendship. I don't really know this experience that humans have with <laughs> relationships. Is that what they're called? Yes, Traveler. I guess I am your friend. That does make me happy. But you can't really tell, can you? Even I can't tell what I'm feeling 
or what I'm thinking at times. Because of these red threads that bind me. That bind everything. And take everything away. And it's for the safety of others, right? That these red threads bind me. Bind my heart. So that I cannot feel. So that I can't hurt anyone. But it's lonely. It's so lonely. Feeling this nothingness until I met you traveler you have filled this void inside me this nothingness that I have always felt when I first saw you I felt a spark I felt something for a long time no matter how close I am to anybody I have felt nothing for them I have felt no connection to them relationships friendships, even family, has meant nothing to me. Until I met you, Traveler. Until you became everything. I finally felt something being by your side fighting by your side. I cared about nothing else. Leo. The others. The only thing I can remember is your pained face. And I knew then and there that I had to protect you. I had to keep you safe. That I wanted to be with you. But these red threads that bind me, that keep me emotionless, that keep me from feeling anything, is so frustrating because I want to feel this connection with you. I no longer want to feel alone. So I've made a decision. A plan, if you will. Oh, Traveler. It looks like you're tired. Are you okay? N you're swaying a bit, Traveler. Oh dear. You've knocked down the food I made. That's okay, Traveler. I can make more. Shall I get you to bed? Oh, oh dear. You've fallen asleep. How careless of you, Traveler. <laughs> How careless of you. Traveler, are you awake? Good. I was worried about you for a minute. I was worried I used too much of this herb, you see. 
You know, I know so much about herbs. Because I've eaten them all my life. I know what every herb does. And this little guy here does put the targeted party to sleep, I suppose you could say. No, 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 not poison. I could never do that to you. <laughs> Please, traveler, don't struggle. It'll only make it worse. Traveler, I do have to apologize. You didn't get to eat any of my food that I made. How rude of me. But I had to make sure that when I got you here, in this abandoned shrine, that you would... <clears throat> not be too much of a hassle, so I had to put you to sleep, so it would be easier. <laughs> you see, Traveler, I have made a decision because of you. I have made a decision to break these red threads that bind me, that keep me from feeling all the emotions I want to feel for you. To keep me from feeling this connection with you that I desperately want to feel. You don't know how desperate I am. But we know the consequences, do we not? We know the consequences of what will happen when these red threads that bind me break. Don't you? Yes, we both know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna fall prey to my homicidal tendencies to this fiery rage inside me and slaughter everybody in Layu. But I have decided to succumb to that. I decided I'm okay with that. As long as I'm with you. So, dear traveler, watch. Watch as I freeze this whole city. As the icicles are covered in blood. And only blood and ice are what's left of Liyu. And it'll just be me and you in this abandoned shrine for days to come. Even Paimon will become an ice sculpture. Your friends, frozen in ice, or slaughtered to the ground. Don't worry, we'll be okay. We'll have each other. You won't have to worry anymore about your dear brother, 
You won't have to worry about anything. I'm sorry I have to make this decision. I'm sorry to only feel my love for you. I have to succumb and slaughter everybody. <laughs> but I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I can already feel the threads breaking. And I can already feel my love for you growing. This passion between us. It's intoxicating. <laughs> These feelings. <laughs> Is this what humans feel? <sighs> I'm sorry, Traveler. There's no turning back. By the time I come back, Everyone you love will be dead. But... I'll still be here. I'll always be here. Right next to you. I promise I'll never leave you. I know it doesn't make up for it. 